<laughs> Hi, this is Don, and today I want to talk about, you know, the difference between a normal game and a ranked game in Dota. It's... I... I shouldn't have to explain the difference between the two, but apparently, you know, it, it comes down to mentality. When, you, when your mentality is wrong, like, and I, I had to say wrong in a very loose sense because, you know, who am I to judge? But, okay, look, normal games are meant to be, you know, they're supposed to be not necessarily, well, a lot of people perceive normal as just for fun. Like, these don't count. These are just games you just play for the sake of playing. And that's all fine and dandy. And then, of course, you got ranked. And to me, rank should entail, you know, a, mo a much more serious attitude. You know, you have to have the right mindset when entering ranked because there are some tryhards, you know, they go into ranked and they, they, they just want to kick your ass. They want to take your MMR. Like, they want to take it by force. And personally, I think that's the way you should approach rank. You know, you should bring your A game to rank. You know, the best possible, you know, Dota you can bring for that given, you know, you know, for that given match, you know, try, you try your best, you know, you know, obviously some people are just, you know, they just go into rank and they just want to dink around. They want to play. Hey, man, I never played Ancient Apparition before, but I'm going to play them the, for the very first time in this ranked game, you know? And, you know, you're going to get a game where he's just going to miss all of his alts. He's not going to, he's not going to do anything good. And you're like, God, man, why did he do it this game? Practice with normals or something. Practice with bots. Oh, man, it's ranked. It's okay. I'm like, no. It's, and that's why I want to tell people. I want to say, no, it's not okay. It's not okay. Because, lo and behold, how, what hap what happens you know more often than not you get some guy let's say they play ember spirit right that's their hero right they play ember spirit like 90 times in ranked and so they they know ember spirit you know they know they know how to play ember spirit they, that's their guy that's their hero right so they, they they're practice they, they've practiced and that's gonna be you know that's gonna be their weapon of choice I, so compare that to someone who who joins ranked with a with a you know with the mentality that they, they're just gonna you know, do whatever, uh, and they're gonna pick a hero they, they've never really played before, if at all. Yeah, and it's like, okay, all right, man, you you, you just picked a hero you played like two times. You know, it's like two times. You, you don't even know how the, the hero works necessarily. You don't even know how to do the combo, right? But here you are, and you know the results speak for themselves in most cases because. Uh, it, you know, you can you you can say none, but none. People can do what they want, right? It's like I, I kind of wish, you know, I kind of wish that somehow you can enforce a better attitude, you know. But again, attitude is a little it's subjective, you know, because some people maybe they're just like that in real life. They're just really aloof, you know. They're really hippie, like you know, they just they just want to chill out and play Dota, you know. Maybe they're already high. I I can't tell. And then you you got again you got this, this serious tryhard man. It could be it's that guy. The only thing that matters to that person is winning that game of Dota, like at all costs. And again, it's, it's just they're so it's so polarizing. It's just so they're just different extremes on the spectrum. And then I I just I guess if you know in a nutshell, I wish more people were like the latter. I wish more people treated each ranked game like like you know like their life depended on it. But you know, obviously not so literal. It's just it's a figure of speech. It's just. I just think higher quality games of Dota would be, you know, would be enjoyed by more people. Because here's the thing: I love high quality Dota. I, 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 I mean, I, I had to take a step back from ranked in Dota because I just got so, it just got so nerve wracking joining, you know, when most of the games boiled down to who, which side had less people, you know, who, who were, who were, you know, I don't want to be mean about it, but. <sighs> Just people who just were casual, you know, and casual is such a dirty word. And you know, when it comes to when you when you when you're talking about rank, because that's what you get, man. You got the tryhards, you got the casuals, and the casuals, they can they can they can seriously mess up your game because you're gonna play some really you know you're gonna play some really tough matches. That the only reason you're you're losing per se is just because some people just aren't pulling their weight. And it's because of that casual person, you know. There's like, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to try that hard, man. I'm like, dude. Uh, yeah, no. It boils down to attitude, and attitude, it can be lacking for some players. I just, I, I, I just wonder. Like, look, there's normal games. You know, you have normal games where you can, you can be like that. You, you join a normal game and you just want to mess around, 
to try out different things. Um, you know, maybe not play your hardest. You just want to like, hey, I, I want to play, you know, Chaos Knight. And I want to build, you know, I want to build Dagon. Okay, cool, cool. Fine. It's normal, right? But, you know, to try to pull that stuff in ranked, you know, against, you know, hopefully competent opponents, opponents you know, just, just to make things interesting. I, it's just... It just doesn't add up. It just doesn't make sense to me. And at the end of the day, I wish more people would try harder in ranked. Just you should try harder.